And welcome back to NAZ Today. I'm your sports reporter, Michael Manny, here to bring you the latest in Northern Arizona football. Let's get right into it. After an 0-2 start where they were outscored 76-23, the NAU football team has won two of their last three games. A big part of that has been the play of true freshman quarterback R.J. Martinez, who helped lead the team to wins over in-state rival Arizona and Big Sky foe Idaho State. I caught up with Martinez to discuss his first year at the college level and his mindset moving forward. A first career win is special for any quarterback, but for NAU freshman R.J. Martinez, that win just happened to be one of the biggest in school history. NAU's first victory over Arizona in 89 years. Despite his first game action coming on a big stage, Martinez wasn't worried. I knew we had the opportunity to win the football game, so it's really just my job to, to give my team the best opportunity to win. Um, so so not, really, not really a lot of nerves, uh, just, just a lot of confidence. With this being his first year at NAU, Martinez has spent a lot of time learning the offense and adjusting to college level play. Our coaches preach all the time, uh, put in time and, and you'll know, uh, reap what, what you want out of it. So, uh, you know, just been putting in a lot of time and a lot, and a lot of effort and, and learning the offense and uh, putting in work with the receivers and things like that. At Westwood High School in Austin, Texas, Martinez approached multiple state single game passing records. Looking back, Martinez says his high school experience helped prepare him for the next level. Playing in a really tough district that I, that I did in, in Texas, 6A, uh, Division I, uh, the toughest it can, it can get in Texas. And I, I think, and I believe in across the country, that's as tough as it'll get. Uh, really, really did prepare me for this level. Um, being able to throw the ball around a lot uh, really helped me as a passer and just being able to see defenses. And for now, He's just focused on improving the offense. I know that's kind of a widely phrased thing, just kind of get better, but really honing in on uh, what it is as an offense that we need to get better at uh, and continuing to get better at that. And shifting over to the high school level, the Flagstaff Eagles started this season on a 4-0 run with the offense scoring 40 plus points in three of those wins. But the unit has struggled the last two weeks with losses to the Winslow Bulldogs and Marcos Deniza Padres. The Eagles were already missing wide receiver Jake Weidinger and running back Marcus Salcedo coming into Friday's game against the Padres. Before suffering more bad injury luck, losing 6'8 tight end Nick Morrow and wide receiver Holden Senna. The shorthanded Eagles offense struggled to finish drives and found themselves down 14-0 heading into the fourth quarter. A late rally came up short and they lost 14-7. But despite the loss, it's still record watch time. Bodie Myers' 16 touchdown passes are just five short of Luke Hawthorne's school record of 21 set in 2006 per flagcoco.com. Well, that's all we have for sports tonight, but stay tuned for your weather recap after the break. 